You see this street? I grew up on this street. It's where I learned. It's where I've earned a living. It's where I became the person you see today. I've seen many changes in the 20 years I've called this my home. This is London's famous flower market. This is Columbia Road. Or the lane, as it's known in circles. On a Sunday, people flock from all around the world to visit this attraction. It's as much a tourist attraction as it is a vital financial asset to the East End of London. The Burridge family are two-thirds of this market and have been for over 100 years. You go up and down this market and you'll meet my cousins, my uncles, granddad and my dad. My earliest memory I have of working down this market was 1992. That's almost 20 years to the day. The reason I remember, well, my dad took me to SummerSlam 92 at the old Wembley Stadium the night before. And I remember three things. I remember the crowd chanting, Bulldog it, man. I remember this Ultimate Warrior t-shirt I was wearing. I remember a bright neon green SummerSlam 92 hat my dad wore the next day down the lane. I looked one major thing that day. <laughs> Apart from the power of merchandising. That one major thing I learnt was that I wanted to be a professional wrestler, no matter what it took. My family have seen a lot of changes around these parts in the last 30 years. I've noticed it growing up myself. The East End isn't the East End as my dad, granddad and uncles will care to remember. It's changed. For the better, for the worse, well, for the minute, let's just say it's changed. What once was labelled a rough, dark and dangerous part of London has slowly become a melting pot of cultures, beliefs, personal lifestyle choices, people free in it to express the way they want to express themselves. Artists, homosexuals, Muslims, every kind of ethnic and cultural group that generally wouldn't feel welcomed 30 years ago can call the East End of London their home and how privileged it is to have such a wide demographic within its comforting walls. With this they have brought a new lease of life to the East End of London. The East is the new West as they say. The reason why it has become what it has become because the East End adapted and accepted that change is a vital part of life. It changed to its environment. It accepted change and moved with it. It didn't fight against it, it worked with it and learned from it and grew and blossomed into the cultural centre point we see today. And as an end result, what's the reward for the East End's hard work? It's the ultimate reward. It's the 2012 Olympics. Just look around here. It's a city of the future, and the East End is where it's happening. But one major thing remains the same, unchanged. A cultural reminder of its roots. And that's the lane. Now, just like my home, I've realised something I need to do. I could be stubborn. Stuck in my ways, so I could just watch as all these young lions come up into the business, eager to climb the mountain to knock me off. As they reach to pull me from my throne, I could watch them tumble as they make the wrong mistakes time and time again. I could fight against them. I could be arrogant and let my stature intimidate them. Just for my own self-confidence and entertainment. Tell them what to do. Bark orders and bad advice. To keep my throne intact. Or I could take a lesson from the East End. I could adapt. And listen. And learn from them. Let them teach me as much as I could teach them. Embrace and accept. Change isn't a bad thing. It's just part of life. It's part of evolution. And evolve is, is exactly what I plan on doing. I'm issuing a statement to the world of professional wrestling. To all the young lions. The up and coming superstars. The wannabes and the next big things. Challenge me. I will teach you some lessons you will never forget. And I hope my son. My pedigree chums. I hope you bring the same. But one major thing 
needs major consideration. Change is a good thing. Change is healthy. Change is a vital to carry on surviving. But a lesson I have learned, just like the lane where I grew up, some things should never change. <laughs>